Hi everyone, now I'm going to give you a little tour of the Victorian State Curriculum, which is based off the Australian Curriculum, but um, structured a little bit differently. So we don't use the, Victor the Australian Curriculum content descriptors exactly, but what I've noticed over the years working with both curriculums, um, Australian Curriculum at tertiary level and Victorian Curriculum in my primary teaching that um, besides some structural differences, um, some of the outcomes are essentially the same, just worded a little bit differently. Now I find the Australian Victorian Curriculum website a little bit more cumbersome than the Australian Curriculum one. I find it's a little bit um, harder to navigate. Um, it starts off with rationale and aims. Um, it breaks down into this little um, table over to the side. So we talk about structure. Now, if you've already had a listen to my video about um, the Australian curriculum, you'll notice that I talked about the fact that the Australian curriculum is not broken down into reading and writing. And I know that some graduates and pre-service teachers um, find that a little bit tricky to deal with because they, like the, um, they like the headings. So in Victoria, we do use those headings. So when we report, we do have a look at reading and viewing, we have a look at writing, we have a look at speaking and listening. But what the Victorian curriculum's done is it's sort of embraced both ideas where you still have reading outcomes, writing outcomes, speaking and listening outcomes, but then interwoven with the strands and substrands that use that are used in the Australian curriculum. So they've sort of like taken the best of both worlds there. Um, it's still got the same substrands and strands. So we've still got language. So you would have noticed me talking about the language strand in the Australian curriculum. And much of the substrands are still the same or worded, if not the same worded very similarly. We still have literature and certain substrands, probably not as many as the Australian curriculum and then literacy. Now, as I said, with the Australian curriculum, the best way to have a look at um, the progression of learning is to have a look at the scope and sequence. I've given you a direct link to that um, so that you don't have to go through this way, but I'm going to English by models levels F26 because that's what we're interested in. I'll just get that up for you. So very, very important document is your scope and sequence, as I said in my last video. Um, very similar to the way it is with the Australian curriculum. We start off with foundation right through to level six. These are the reading and viewing strand. Um, overall arching is um, reading and viewing. Within that, we're having a look at the language strand and within that, we're having a look at st text structure and organization. So it starts off at foundation level where they use, understand that text can take many forms and that imaginative and informative texts have different purposes, right up to how authors understand um, that you can be innovative, play with language features, aesthetic humors, persuasive devices, etc. in grade six. Um, with this scope and sequence, the substrands are sort of heading with throughout with the content descriptors directly underneath that. Um, you'll notice that when I was talking about phonics and phonic knowledge and um, in the Australian curriculum that I said it stopped at grade three, there are content descriptors in some parts of the upper school relating to um, high frequency words and prefixes as such. Um, still under that um, idea of word knowledge. Um, we still have the same basis of, um, you know, liter literature being able to examine texts and have a looking at, have a look at things like authors making connections between text, um, authors intent um, and literacy being about um, things like comprehension strategies and um, being able to interpret and analyze what you're reading. Um, yeah, then um, again, I said it's structured differently. Then, we, then we've got the clear writing outcomes. So as I said before, some students find it hard navigating the Australian curriculum because you don't have those distinctive differences, um, with, whereas with the Victorian curriculum you do.